y'all thank you for tuning in my name is ayoka and i'm getting ready to bring you a general energy update for today let me give you my disclaimer i'm gonna try to make this about 10 minutes y'all and then i'm out because i got a client um to do but however flip these roles as you see fit you know who plays what in your story i don't um please use the spirit of discernment we're all on different timelines okay if this doesn't feel like it's your message please do not force it to fit um take what you need leave what you don't all right now um let me set my intentions before I get started. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides, for helping me with this collective reading. Thank you for using me as the messenger today. Thank you for speaking through me loud and clearly. And so it is. All right, y'all. Don't forget, if you're feeling triggered by anything, check in with your higher self. And don't comment it. Why? Because I'm here to help raise your vibration. I'm trying to help you to manifest this life that you desire, right? Because I know you guys are like really tired of being stuck or feeling certain ways or, or just being uncertain, okay? Right? But the best way to bring about what you desire is to be a vibrational match to it. So basically, if you're feeling any type of low vibes, emotions, thoughts, all of that is conducive to what you're trying to do for yourself, okay? So definitely check in. Hey, why I feel that way? <laughs> What's this about? I, I need to, you know, face it, release it, move forward, all right? Show me what I need to see here for the general energy. What's going on with my collector? What are they feeling? Thank you. <clears throat> a woman holding a heart, okay? So this could be dealing with emotions. Show me what I need to see. In a caring connection. Wow. Somebody definitely is digging whoever this woman holding a heart is. I look at this woman holding a heart as a queen of cups. Okay, so it's some things you got to do here. Um, dealing with your emotions and your intuition. So it's more one of these things here, right? Um, it's some decisions I feel like that need to really be made with this connection. You got a very strong bond with this person here. Look, 4414 is on these cards, man. That's twin flame numbers all day, but it doesn't have to be a higher level soulmate for you. If you don't know if this is your actual person, then you need to get a reading. Don't try to figure it out off of a collective reading. Okay, so show me what I need to see here. <clears throat> Fours are all about creations. Yep. Six chakra. What look the number 40. Check this out, y'all. 44, 14, 40. Even though, you know, if I break these numbers down, four plus four is eight. That's new beginnings. Five, that's change. 40. We still got four. Creation. Now, with the sixth chakra, this is around your personal vision. Okay. This is literally about what you are envisioning for yourself. All right. Um, this is good because you're connecting to your intuition. And even when you see this little whole little thingy in the middle of his head, that's like the third eye, right? So now let me pull Tarot real quick. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna go with my light seers. Tell me about this woman holding a heart here. What do we need to know about this woman holding a heart? <clears throat> mm -mm. And shuffle it again. Tell me about this woman holding the heart here. Uh, I'm gonna switch to these, y'all, because I don't feel like fighting with those cards. <clears throat> Tell me about this woman holding the heart. Ace of Swords. So you can see this. Okay. Show me what else I need to see. Eight of Pentacles. About this eight of pentacles. It's been rough. I can see that. The strength card. Okay, so it's been a tough journey overall um, with this ace of swords. With this connection. Okay, so one second here. But it's, it's definitely something that you are trying to work on. When it comes to this person with the eight of pentacles, I feel like you may be focusing on that right now at this point. It's like, how can I uh, work on this, develop this, create this? But the thing is, right, you got to be careful because you don't want to, you know how sometimes you pay too much attention to the details. You lose sight of the bigger picture here. You don't, you're not going to be able to create perfection, of course. All right. But the thing is, it's like you want to be able to do this and do this well is what I see. 
okay so at some point you could have had some type of self-doubt with this but overall it's like with the strength card coming through you now have the strength here to overcome whatever the obstacles are between you two okay now it's some type of inspiration that's coming to you with this ace of swords okay so i wanted to look this up to make sure i was speaking in the right terms and again it does it says this is the beginning of the journey and your thoughts may be racing and it has definitely been difficult between you two, whatever this may be, okay? But you're going to have to put all your wits and your reasons with this in order to see it through, is what I'm hearing. That's why I was like, that, lo that logic and that emotion is some, is some uh, decisions that you're going to have to make when it comes to this particular person, or this may be you, you know? But however, you definitely are in a situation here where you care a lot about this connection, Tell me about the sixth chakra. Yep, King of Cups. Okay, so again, it's still mirroring this woman holding a heart, which would be my Queen of Cups in traditional tarot. But overall, with the King of Cups, it's like it's some type of offer that you may want to you may want to uh, give, right? But it's going to require you again to use your logic and your emotion while doing this. You gotta really, yeah, put your wits into this. And overall, when it comes to your vision, yep, two of swords. For what you want, it's like long-term you can see it, but you're having a hard time making these decisions, okay? It's difficult for you. It's like you have to weigh your options here. Look, even when I looked at the Six of Pentacles just now, it looks like you're weighing your options. Which gift or which offer do I give, okay? So, Show me what I need to see. Emperor. Nine of Wands. Yep. What I see with the Emperor, I do see here it's going to require you to be disciplined. It will require you to be stable. Okay. You may not be expressing your emotions um, with this situation. But overall with the Nine of Wands, it's like... You got to be persistent. Let's just put it that way. It's like you got to have this fight about you. No matter what the adversity may be, still fight to overcome the challenges. Still strap up your gloves like you're fighting your boxing gloves or whatever and go at it head on, right? Go for it is what I see with the nine of wands. Protect this connection. Stay in guard. It seems like that may be even what you have to do with it because it's a lot of people that may not approve of this. Thank you. And you're trying to figure out here, yep, how you can go about doing this moving forward. But you got to be careful because it's something that you may be keeping to yourself. You're hiding something um, or someone is hiding something from you. It's some type of de deception. And, you know, sometimes when that happens, you could either hurt yourself or you're going to hurt the people that's involved here. Because you're trying to move forward, but you're trying to figure out how to move forward and do this in a way where you can kind of sneak off or get away with it, with that energy here. With that seven of swords. It's like, wow. And then here go the chariot. Tell me about this seven of swords energy. You're going to have to use your logic, your intuition. Make decisions from your heart is what I just heard. Because you got a lot of compassion for this person. Yep. Because it's conflict. And so what I see is, is that you may be trying to do this in a way where you can avoid the conflict. Okay. And don't have to really fight because it's some it's some competition here. So either this person has other suitors or you have other suitors that are all fighting for the same position. Well, tell me what I need to see. Tell me what the problem is. Yeah, everybody wants to reach this point. Everybody wants to see the victory from this connect from their connection, right? Not this one, but their connection. So everybody that you may be connected to may want some type of acknowledgement and they're fighting for it, okay? But you're trying to figure out how do I get away from all of this, still go towards what I want without nobody noticing that I snuck off, right? Wow. <laughs> the magician in the world. So you really have the power to manifest this. Okay, this is about com things coming full circle. This is about your goals. This is about your accomplishments, going to the next level in your life. Whatever this may be for you here in this connection, you can manifest this. You don't have to do it with deceit or manipulation is what I'm saying. Just use your willpower. Just use the tools that you got underneath your belt 
your strength, your confidence, put all of that together here and manifest this. Okay, because you have the ability to do it regardless of the naysayers, um, wherever the adversity may be coming from. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to come out of that one. Okay, but let me give y'all some advice. My son just came out the bathroom. He got his cell phone on, y'all. And I don't know what he playing. So if you hear some background noise, show me what I need to see for the, F, uh, the advice for them. <laughs> show me what I need to see. What advice do you have for my collective in this situation? <laughs> what advice do you have for my collective in this situation? Okay. What advice do you have for my collective in this situation? Come on. <clears throat> Keep it. <laughs> That's all that's to it. It's nothing that you can do to really stop these feelings because Cupid is all up in the mix of this, okay? So what it says here, it says, we send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. So allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all its glorious aspects. So it's saying basically, Go ahead and, and celebrate this. Connect to this. This is all being orchestrated by the divine is what I'm hearing. Remember, I see all these fours on these cards. It's like when Cupid gets involved, honey. <laughs> New partner. <laughs> Acceptance. Accept it. This show your person. This chance meeting is no mistake. It's divinely orchestrated. <laughs> Everything I say, even with the distractions, okay? It's divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. So pay careful attention to the people that we send you in your life. Okay. You will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, com comfort, and safety. Even if they're new people, pay attention. If you haven't even met this partner yet, it's somebody coming into your life. Cupid is, um, or this is divinely orchestrated. Okay. So acceptance. They're saying, basically, accept this. This is a gift from God. This is a gift from the universe, okay? See everybody through the eyes of unconditional love and acceptance um, for the most part. But overall, here, <laughs> they're trying to inspire you and lift you up to your highest potential. And this is what this person is coming in, right, to help you do. It's divinely orchestrated. I love every moment of this, y'all. This makes me smile. Somebody, y'all found y'all person. All right. All right. Show me what I need to see. This is about to be your new partner. What I see here is this is about to be your new person that you're in a relationship with. You got free will, of course. <laughs> you don't got to do a damn thing. But <laughs> it's showing here that this is divinely orchestrated. So it... It won't, you know, you're going to have your problems, but at the same time, this is supposed to be, okay? Show me what I need to see for this spread to close out. Some adjustments are required. <clears throat> Release any negativity and show this person who you are. This says show the per show the world the real you, but the meaning of that card is also show the world who you are, your talents, your gifts, your most authentic self, and also show this person in your life that as well. Okay, now adjustments may be required. Let me pull on that real quick. Tell me about that. If there's any negativity behind this or anything that's happening here and your story with that conflict, it's time to release that. Okay, you got to have hope with the star card. It's going to require you to stay optimistic here with your intentions and what your personal vision is when I see this card. Okay, show me what I need to see here. Oh, I just seen the four wands. It didn't come out, but that's literally, I, I got the world card again because this is about you reaching your milestones. Things are coming full circle here. Thank you. This is infinite love is what I hear. Show me what I need to see. It's unconditional. Queen of Swords. Okay. So set your emotions to the side and view things with clarity, logic, and honesty. Be very direct. All right. And what it is that you want. 
what you're asking the universe to do for you be clear about that when it comes to anybody in your life when it comes to the conflict is what's coming to me you may need to also be very blunt and straightforward about what your vision is with these people to end the conflict because overall you hold the power is what i see okay even this says queen of swords it doesn't really matter if you're male or female it's like you're the queen of this shit. you're the king of this okay so you hold the power you speak your truth set your emotions to the side and do what you got to do, baby. Make it happen because this is divinely orchestrated. Okay. <laughs> stay, op stay optimistic. What is it that they need to release? <laughs> Self-doubt. You got to have the strength to do this. Okay. You have strength. You, you, it requires a certain willpower, right? And a certain confidence. But what I'm saying here is that you do have that. Even if you feel like you don't have it, connect here with your higher self, right? And release the self-doubt. Release whatever that is that may be holding you back or causing you to not be able to move forward here. Because, again, what my spirit team keeps saying, it's divinely orchestrated. It's nothing there that you got to even worry about. Look, nine of swords, worrying. is nothing you should be worrying about. Staying up all night, worried about it, can't sleep type shit focus and 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 work on whatever it is you need to do to cultivate this situation here the negativity that needs to be released is the anxiety the fear the self-doubt okay thank you make a healthy choice Take this person out on a date. You may be dating them or you're getting ready to. <laughs> but make a healthy choice with this, okay? Period. In your life. Mm. This is about you being happier is what I'm saying. But some of y'all getting ready to really start something new here. You're getting back out there. It's happening. <laughs> it's happening, boo boo. <laughs> All right, y'all. That was fun. Um... I'll try to catch up with y'all tomorrow. I, I think I can do that. Like, I think I can do that. I have been very off with my um energy updates because my days have been like just clashing. Okay. Um, but overall, I have been um pushing out Virgo Libra readings um back to back. Libra, especially every day, and Virgo every day, of course, because I'm my sign is Virgo. But um for Libras because we are in Libra season. So yes, make sure you are checking out those videos that I'm posting for y'all. If you are a part of my Divine Femin Feminine Squad or my Soul Tribe Squad, please make sure you go to my main page, okay, my channel here on YouTube. In the second row, the videos are for you. They're for members only. And I post videos there. But y'all won't be seeing them, right? Because YouTube does not notify y'all. But um, I'm letting y'all know it's there. Okay? So make sure you check it out. Alright, y'all? Um, and then I'll see you later. Peace. <laughs>